FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is going to be the 1 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. And I will be doing the next hour. Uh, Larry is out, and I'll, I'll fill in for that hour. So the Dow is down 76 at 43,191. Now, this is really interesting because on my technical basis, the 9 period moving average is still quite nicely above the 14, and that shows internal strength. However, we do have NVIDIA, and NVIDIA is really important because it's in the semiconductors. It's also part of the, I call semiconductors, the crude oil of the 21st century. It's in everything, right? So it's very important. But it's in, uh, NVIDIA is in the semiconductors, the Dow, the S&P just got added to the Dow. The S&P, <clears throat> you've got it in the Qs, you've got it in the XLK, the S&P select, uh, select tax sector. So it's really important. So I'll talk about that when we get back. Just give you parameters. That's all we can do. We don't know how the market will respond. We don't even know what they're going to say. So with that said, just real quickly, we'll go to the S&P before we go to uh, the next hour, Larry's Larry's hour. Uh, Dow is down, the S&P is down 30 at 58.86. The QQQ is down uh, three and a half at 500. The IWM, the Russell 2000, is down. Now it's down only 91. It's actually holding quite well. I'll talk about it when we return as an alternate. If NVIDIA pulls back, maybe you'll see money come into the two, Russell 2000, as it had been up until a week ago. Well, let's look at gold. Gold is up 24. It's extended its gain. It's at 2655. Uh, We've liked it for the last couple of days. We're looking at the dollar, and we'll do the currencies. When I return, the dollar is up. Broke out of the little wedge uh, pattern. So that's good. It's up seven, uh, 56 ticks. Let's go to the bonds. Oh, bonds, bonds, bonds. Bonds are down almost a half a point at 116 and a half. So when I get back, we'll we'll be looking at currencies. We're looking at commodities. I want to look at wheat, etc. And we will be looking at the indices. We'll also look at the very short term. And we'll also look at the VIX index right now. The VIX index was quite a bit higher. Yeah, it's still holding very well. It's at 18.10, up $1.75. This market is set to go down. So if it really gives anything like a pleasant surprise, well, we'll see. We'll be back in a moment. Uh, Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pizzavento's hour. 